Coming live from the command center of JW Solar USA. In today's video, we have Kiwitz Smart Multimeter model number, the KM201. And we have the voltage detector, um, the HT100S. These are from Kiwitz. They sent us for review. And guys, I want you to take a look and see how these machines or this equipment gonna work for our solar and home use for off-grid and grid people and it seems like it's a nice build and uh, we're gonna do a test into this just a short video and you can get this stuff from Amazon and I can put my link on the des description below. Make sure you click on this and buy one of these products today. And you're going to have a discount by using my discount link on the description below. Like and subscribe, JW Solar USA. So we're going to open up this little guy first and do a short test and give you what this guy, this guy is doing. And um, after that... Tell me what you think. Buy one, test one, tell me what you think about it. Because everybody has their own opinion about um, when it comes to equipment or tools for off-grid solar system. I'm doing this for off-grid test. All right? Stay tuned. Like and subscribe. JW Solar USA. All right. Let's see what we have in the box. So, pop this guy. Okay, we have two batteries that comes with it. And we have the uh, voltage, AC voltage detector. And this one can detect from uh, 12 volt to 72. And it can go up to about uh, one kilovolt. All right. Okay, it seems like it's a manual in here. They have it all. It's a small booklet. And seems like it's Chinese in here and different language English in here. So it's a lot of information for just a little guy here. So it says it tests from 12 volt to 1000 volt. It's a 50, 60 Hertz. You have two batteries that comes with it. You see the assembly, how everything goes. It tells you how you can insert the batteries is a cat 4 to 600 volt you see there's a, a meter that tells you it reads out when you um is a non-contact though you can do contact and non-contact so let's assume that we already have the batteries in and this guy it has a little light here for if you're working on a dark side or something. You, you know, it's really hard when you're using both hands doing something. And you end up holding the flashlight and dealing with electricity. It's very, very complex. Thing. So, Kiwitz made it really easier by putting um, a light here. And it's going to illuminate. And here is the non-contact sensor. See, like a, a beam right here. See that? And this is the contact side. You can hook this one on the plug, the outlets of your house. Then you can see. And it started telling you if it's working or not. So this is the on and off button. Gives you a beep. And look at the screen. It reads from 12 volt to 1 kilovolt. And if you push this button, 
One more time, it reads from 70 to 1 kilovolt. The writing is clear. It's just because of the lights that I'm using here on the camera and the other background. So you can play with this. I can able to use this and test it on my batteries. The connection, if the uh, 12 volt or more or higher is going to read. So this is the AC. This is a 70 volt to 1 kilovolt. So you can see a line coming here. It's flashing. And if it's, um, you can do the contact here. And for the 12 volt, you press this button down here. And it's going to give you the 12 volt. Then you touch this probe to any of the wires it's going to um, indicate. So let's turn the light on. Press and hold. There it goes. You see the red light flashing right there earlier? So that tells you that this device has detected something. So the light is on. Press and hold. It's gone. So let's go to um, the outlet and test it and see how everything works. Let's assume early in the morning I'm about to make my tea or coffee or whatever, something warm, and you have an outlet like this. And um, sometimes, you know, a breaker already tripped or something and the tea kettle doesn't work for some reason. You don't know why. The best thing you got to do instead of trying to disable what uh, uh, disassemble this one old thing here, um, bring your meter and test it. There's nothing, no indication like you're trying to stick this probe, nothing. You or we decide to come to a breaker box and say, let's check what's happening here. So it tells you there's electricity in the house. There's electricity in the house. Okay. So now when we come here, we find out that this breaker has already tripped. So this is the, the breaker that responsible for the outlet. Tells you. So all these breakers that see that. So let's go back and turn this breaker on and go to a test site and see if it works. Now we're on the outlet and let's see if this guy is going to work for us. See that this is the contact by sticking the probe inside on the hot. So the little pin right here is the black wire, which is the hot. This is the neutral and this is the ground right here. If you stick it on the neutral, it's not going to do it because it's just a neutral line and this is the hot line. So it does the same thing and here nothing not even on the ground so let's put it on the non-contact see we get close it's gonna read get close it's gonna read we don't have to touch it at all it reads that tells you this outlet is working so let's grab this uh, tea kettle and plug it in and come right here there's an indicator right here to show you um it's gonna work there you go illuminate right here so it tells us that even the entire wire there is electricity going through here without contacting it it tells you this is live see it tells you this is a live cable Look at that. Interesting, right? I gotta hold this. Oh, it's going really fast. So 
So that means the ticket ticket tool works. So even this one is now conducting electricity. So you better be careful. I can touch it, no problem. But it's telling you there is electricity presence in this side, in this area, entire area. You know there is electricity. So this is the contact. You have to contact, then it works. Let's come back to our heavy duty side here at the kitchen. And uh, you will see, it tells you this, this outlet is live. By just moving around, it tells you exactly. You can plug it as well, or you can do the, the contact. You stick it from the bottom. See that? So it works. So this is a nice tool to have, to have with you all the time if you're doing some work at the house. If you don't want to be in contact, you don't want to touch it, then you can just put it on the other mode here. See? So let's go try on the batteries. These are some of our DIY battery, do-it-yourself battery packs we built here uh, with the off-grid solar system with JW Solar USA. Now we have this guy here can even able to tell us that these batteries uh, have power or electricity on them. Now it's sitting on 70 volts. We're going to change it to 12 volts by clicking once here and go around here. It tells us this battery is live. They're all live. And even this wire is live. Because it reads from 12 volt to 70 volt and a kilovolt. See that? One kilovolt. So it tells us these things, they are active. Okay. Let me see if you get it right angle. See that so we come to a solar generator we built here we can go to cell source that's a live 12 volts power going through these lines and there's an output here an AC output so it's not reading this because it's off the invert so make sure that the bus bars are all connected properly and is is checking everything so this is Qwit AC voltage detector the HT 100s series live here at GW Solar USA and you can able to use this side here just like when you have a pen you're gonna hook this one up to your pocket or you know your your shirt or whatever and this guy just works it operates on two batteries here double triple triple a batteries live at jw solar usa make sure you like and subscribe to this video and share it like share and subscribe and um buy one of this one is a must have and with the led indicator here press and hold you have a flashlight Look at that. How cool is that? On one unit. It's cheap. You can buy this at Amazon.com. Press and hold. It's gone. Or buy it directly from Kiwits. JW Solar USA. Thanks for watching. I hope you like this video. And we're going to come back to part two of the other multimeter right here on the channel. Click on the description below. And you can have a discount. Uh, discount code is there. Enter that, and that will give you a good discount. Good, good, good discount for your, for your thing, you know, for your purchase.